How's it going guys? In this video we're going to go over how you can use the osmotic pressure of a solution to find the molar mass of an unknown solute that's dissolved into it. That can be an element or a compound or whatever. And uh, these questions are kind of few and far between, but when you do have them I feel like they catch a lot of people off guard and they're kind of challenging. So let's just jump right in. Um, okay, so a 4 milligram sample of chemical X is dissolved in water to make 50 ml of solution. The osmotic pressure of the solution is 0.66 millimeters of mercury at 30 degrees Celsius. What is the molecular mass of chemical X? But Professor Utonium accidentally added an extra ingredient to the concoction, chemical X. Okay, so first off we're going to start by using this formula. And our R value is going to be 62.4. It's going to be liters times mmHg over moles times Kelvin. Okay, cool. So let's just start subbing in what, what can we put into this formula. So first off, 0 0.66 mmHg. We have our pressure there. And m is what we're going to be solving for. Our R value is right up there, 62.4 liters times mmHg over mole times Kelvin. And then we have finally third degrees we're going to put that into Kelvin so we have 303 Kelvin. Now we can just start doing some math here 62.4 times 303 and then we're going to get 18,907.2 and we're going to divide, and that's M. And then we're going to divide both sides by that. 18907.2, 18907.2. I'm going to get a really small number here. So we have 0 0.66, 0 0.66 divided by 18907.2. We get. 0 0.00003490.7 0 0 and we can just put that into scientific notation that's going to be 3.4907 times 10 to the negative fifth all right cool so now we have a, a number that we can use this is our m value and uh, what we're going to do now is we, we can check out the the equation that we kind of got comfortable with in the last few videos. We're going to do our molarity is equal to the moles of solute over the, the liters of solution. So now we're going to try to see like basically what we can do here. So um, we have our molarity and we have that right here. What we can do is we can take um, what our moles of solute is going to be and figure out Okay, so first off we have 0 0.04, I'm sorry, that should be 0 0.004 grams, because uh, decicentimillimeter, we move it 3 to the left uh, to get it into grams. That's going to be over, we'll say Y, and this is all over 0 0.05 liters, because we're converting that. So now we have some of the elements that we need, uh, and then we just need to kind of move forward with solving this. And this is all going to be equal to our 3.4907 times 10 to the negative fifth. So first off, we can multiply both sides by 0 0.05. So now we'll multiply that by 0 0.05. And now we get... 0 0.004 grams over y is equal to 1.745 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, negative 6. Okay, so we're getting some progress here. And now we just solve for y. So first off, you can, if you want to do it this way, you can move y over here. And then what you're going to basically do is you're going to multiply both sides by that. So we'll just do that. Um, let me scoot this down a little bit. I'll, uh, I'll write it over here. So you have 
0.004 grams equal to 1.745 times 10 to the negative 6th y. And then what we do is um, divide both sides by 1.745 times 10 to the negative 6th. Point oh oh four divided by one point seven four five times ten to the negative sixth. Okay, cool. So now what we got our variable that we called y is going to be two two nine two point two six three six one. So what can we do with that? Um, let's make that a little bit more pretty. Twenty two nine. 2.3 and that's going to be what we just solved for is our um, grams per mole so right there we just found the molar mass of chemical X so that's kind of the the first phase of this problem and uh, now we're going to take it one more one more phase with our next question All right, Professor Utonium discovered that a 62, or I'm sorry, 6.2 molar solution of chemical X could induce rapid evolution in a chimpanzee. Uh, how many grams of chemical X are used to make 600 ml of this solution? This is kind of a silly, goofy question, but it, the point of it is basically we're trying to take what we had in that so in that last problem and then take it one step further sort of so we can start so how many grams are in this are in this solution so we'll start with molarity equals n of solute divided by liters of solution and let's see what we can plug in um, we know that we're looking for a 6.2 molar so we have 6.2 m is equal to N of solute over our solution, which is going to be 600 ml, so that's 0 0.6 liters. So from there, we can just solve times both sides by 0 0.6. 6.2 times 0.6 equals 3.72. So N equals 3.72. We know we have 3.72 moles of chemical X going on here. So now we just have to do 3.72 moles of X times what our molar mass is. So we're going to have one mole of X, get moles on the bottom so we can cross it out, is equal to what we just solved for all the way up here, 2,290 2.3 uh, grams of X. So it's a it's a huge, pretty pretty large molecule there. Um, pretty large compo compound rather. So we have 3.72 times 2292.3. All right. So we're gonna get 8527.356. And that's going to be grams. Uh, we can just make that 8527.4 grams of chemical X. And it says how many grams of chemical X are used to make 600 ml of this solution. So we have this many grams and that's going to go into the um, into the water so to make the 6.2 uh, molar solution. So there we go. That's kind of the basics of how to find the molar mass. Really that was just the first problem but you know I want to expand it a little bit. Yeah so hopefully this is helpful to someone.